Maybe Chad Minsick. Is the overlay or? <laughs> And we just need the excellent fade. Yeah, we, we just need the fade. <laughs> Not bad. Yep. Disregard the fade. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and right. more check. Okay, we need a little introduction to start us off with. So, everybody was traveling um, this far corridor after we've um, you've the, have the finished all your business with the human encampment. The journey took about a, a whole day and something of the next day. And you guys are situated at the end of this corridor and we stopped at you seeing a little band of elves and a little band of orcs and uh, in the middle of an outpost, a circular uh, room with a fire going on in the middle A campfire or a big fire? It's a big ass bonfire Nice How many, can we discern how many there are in each group? Yeah, you can easily see the right uh, from the bonfire illuminates everything there are about 50 on each side. They are all armed with their weapons out. The orcs are all uh, dressed in chainmail, and there are a couple of ogres. And you can now see in front of this 50, there is another um, ogre. This one more um, dressed with something more neat uh, above his armor. The sort of robes. And on the other side, there's another elf dressed all in shiny golden armor. In front of this um, uh, fifty, yeah, fifty elves. Right. So what does the party do? Can I just walk up to the bonfire and start playing? Yeah, I was about to glance at Samal and be like, "This looks like your thing." We went so to do this for a week. You actually walk where at the we, bonfire and they start from? playing. I actually walk just straight on. <laughs> To the bonfire, play, playing the ukulele. What's the name of the place? Maybe, came maybe from? play a bit of Gangnam style. You know what I mean? Just you, you came <laughs> from, um, you came from the human outpost, exactly to the west of this location. Greetings. We come from the human outpost, exactly to the west from here. I'll be you on this fine day or night. I can't really discern we're in the sewers. Oh yeah. Do I you, think do my wits about me, man. Do you see that? If anyone starts pointing balls and shit yeah. at me, I. I yeah, no, the second you, like, you say that, nobody hears just a couple of people from the groups glance at you, and they glance back at their, um, commanders. Nobody, nobody moves. Can we see that they're really, I mean, it's a really tense situation here? I mean, can they yeah, be like, it's a, yeah, it's a tense situation, like, you can hear tense. nobody from those 50 groups is even speaking, and the ones in the middle are shouting. Uh, what they're shouting? Can we hear what they're shouting? Yeah, yeah that's can we hear what they're uh, shouting? you. You don't. That's you. Look a bit too far away, but Samal starts walking towards, and at one point you hear something from the elf commandant saying, "Back off your people now, and bring back what you brutes stole, or you'll not be alive for long." There's, so there's this uh, elf woman, um, long, blonde hair. Uh, somebody, some of, uh, someone from your party recognizes her. Um, I think that's just it's easy. She's an elf. Who, who recognizes? Yeah, Cadence. If only, we had, if only yeah. we had an elf in our party. Yeah, you only dance. have an elf in your party. Cadence recognizes. Recognizes her I'm easily. Elf too. <laughs> one sec, and from the other one, there's an ogre, and uh, actually not an orc. Like as you go closer, you see it's an it's an ogre. It's small. He's small, and his skin is blue. Mm. And he's, he's like within striking distance of where I'm walking to. Is he or? No, he is. Like this whole thing is happening about 100 feet from you guys. 
Right. He's, and, he's and kind of forward. Pay any attention at all to me playing the ukulele? No, you start playing. They don't even pay. Imagine well, that they're I, they're I, shouting. I the pretty pretty loud. I shout out, friendly, friendly. <laughs> are you friendly? And then Rose like shoots That always you. works. Um, and then I so aim at, my magic as Samal starts to play the ukulele. Like I discern like the beat of his song, and walk beside like bashing my shit, my bas bashing my shield with my spear. Like yeah. as kind of like the base. You turn around. Okay, so you wanna absolute disgust. So yeah, you wanna you wanna sing at the same time. Okay, you need to make me a uh, intelligence roll. Yeah, I think intelligence roll uh, from Ajax. Yeah, no, because Ajax has musical number. Ajax has no experience in this. Like. Can you do it? Yeah, Can you I'm discern the like, beat? I'm like trying to ruin my song. He's trying to ruin my song. <laughs> I'm trying to make your song loud. Okay, one second. Where's? Wait, no, they're, uh, they're already touched. Yeah, but it's hard to ignore people when they're loud. So roll d20 plus one. Oh, I am yeah, out of time as all hell. You are very out of time. You don't you discern the song. You just start beating on it, and you're like, oh, I think oh. this is it. Uh, the side effect. The Imagine his uh, his praying, he's being out of it. Like he he's he se he senses the beat after it has already been sung. Yeah, I, I just turn around and look at him and, and just say, "Do you mind? This is a bardic charge." I I kind of like pull my spear back and just stand there. And then I, I carry on playing. I, I go I go right towards the middle and I, I want to play it and if people still aren't playing uh, paying attention to me I'm gonna circle around the pit dancing while I play. One second, uh, I still need to give you the description of the orc, you can stop me. Uh, the ogre. Uh, so it's this blue ogre that responds after the um, elf speaks and says We know nothing of your puny elves. You Will you uh respond? Oh shit, I thought he was like teleporting and shit. No, he responds. We here for work, children, you taken. Give back now. And, like, at this moment, one of the orcs and uh, respectively one of the elves come to the commander and whisper something, and they both look in your direction. And, um, a couple of the, like, they point, and a couple of the orcs and a couple of the elves come near you. Like, they, they start moving towards you, uh, weapons or? drawn. Weapons drawn, not aggressively. Like they're not charging you; they're just moving in a way that don't do anything stupid. Right. Kind of I, I, I very humbly bow, bow towards them. It looks like As, um, be here to and, and, I, and, I, and I keep my head down until everything's said. I just can't seem to. Be... Shut while you they're all. Said that. Oh, you can go ahead. Sorry. Okay, I'm just gonna say while they're all dancing and I don't know whatever, I'm gonna like kind of stay back like where we in entered in case. It goes sour. I'm not like up there with them, like all dancing around and acting insane. Okay, so you're not up with them. You're just say, staying in a corner. No, I'm not gonna stand in the middle of two armies, heavily armored, where they could just like clash oh, at any minute and start that? murdering okay. each other. Yeah, I'm gonna stand off to the side. Thank you very much. Cadence, you wanted to say something? You said uh, can I recognize the elf leader? Yeah, you recognize the elf leader. She's a charitable friend. Then you have to fill me in on this. <laughs> so what's what, what's her name? Her name is Riga. Uh, Lia? No, uh, L E L A. Does she have a history of beheading bards? <laughs> Would I know that? <laughs> no. Uh, I'm just uh, okay. So as long as she doesn't have a known history. What, what do I know about this? Uh, She's uh, yeah. She, as a uh, physically, I already described her. She's lean, kind of tall, with brown flowing hair. And uh, what you know about her is that she is the elf commander of the outpost, the elves that actually made it out of the city inside this uh, construction you're in. And uh, not nothing mo much because you you were childhood friends, but childhood friends for elves means a lot. So, like, after some time, you you lost connection. Uh, she was a lot more religiously implicated than you were, and um, you got all the powers that um, the clerics usually get. And she was very envious of you. 
and after that she she stopped talking to you. Mm. So now now potentially could be a very it was bad time to it, was, it was like like decades ago. Yeah, it was like no. twenty thirty years ago or even more. Is is the elf commander a grey elf? No, she's a regular elf. A regular elf. Okay, so I I would think that she's not a well if she's not a cleric she won't have that night effect spell so again that's good to know I walk up with uh, um, Samal and walk up close to him like I make it I have my spear out but I make it very obvious that I'm not threatening anyone with it and I walk up next to him okay no, I, I just whisper yeah, to him bow 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 the, um, I, the orcs are up. Right? No, I bow for no I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing. I'm not doing any impression either. The orcs are a lot more aggressive than the elves. They kind of start flicking their uh, axes and kind of smile at you. Uh, just in before, one of the orcs looks back at the commander and he points something, says something with uh, his facial uh, gesture, and they stop. And the elf, one of the elves, comes in front and asks. What what is your business here? Do you want to pass through? Um, Actually, I, we were hoping to. S you guys. No, no, go. I was gonna say. Yes. Actually, we yes. were hoping yes. to find you, or more particularly, your commander. And I say this like as a general to both of them. I say we are great warriors from across the land, and we have come here in order to fight the evils that are holding these these many people prisoner in this sewer. She... <laughs> uh, we had many such claims. We've been here for 20 years and nobody has helped us. Why would you? And I like to... I like do a very, very flashy weapon flourish thing, which I can apparently do because I'm a warblade or something. And, um... I say because you have never met a warrior as great as I, or a party as capable as ours. She kind of smiles and says, well, well, uh, I don't know about that, but you seem capable. Come, uh, let us speak, uh, I'll bring you to the commander, but you need to wait until this dispute is finished and it might escalate into a fight, so you either stay here and wait or you join a side. And she kind of looks at the uh, orcs very, very violently, like... Uh, almost glowing with it, her eyes. Is there, any, is there any way I can talk, like, we, we can talk, more particularly Samal can talk to your, um, to your yeah. leader I, before I, I, this fight I, I, escalates? I stand up and, and flourish my ukulele, and uh, <laughs> I, I, I request permission to play a song. Do not. And, Everybody and I is. Say, I say an elder. She looks at you and she like she's impressed that you speak Ang uh, Elvish, um, but she says in the same grave tone, "Things here are not so merry. We do not need songs. We we need answers." And like she says that, and then she realizes that she's brabbling. Says, "Wait here, or, or do not wait here." This I'm might turn to into armed assault. Uh, is anyone is anyone in combat range with me? No, nobody is combat, but they're like you. See, you can see this is a big room, and there are two uh, m m bands of people all armed with weapons drawn. No, but um, would you say that I still have the attention of people? You have no attention of people. Just the ten and ten that are near you. They are still arguing in front. But do I have attention of most of the people? Only the ones that are actually looking at you. The 20 that came towards you. The rest are not looking at you. If I started playing my ukulele again, would I get more attention? You need to try to figure it out. I'll start playing my ukulele again and turn around with my back to the elf. And then gauge the reaction of the two armies. You will enrage the enemy. <laughs> the enemy says, uh, it's, not, it's not a good idea. It's not a good idea what you're doing. I, I, I just turn and say, I'm simply playing a song. And then I, play gauge, loud I, I, I play it very loud. And I gauge the reactions of the two armies. Who is your, who is your leader here? And she looks at all of you. 
Uh, sorry, Cadence, Cadence, you want uh, Cadence? You wanted to say something? Go on. Yeah, I just when she before he starts playing, I would like to ask to meet up with the uh, was it Leia? Uh, Liga. I can you spell that? Uh, L E L A. L E L A. Lila. Yes. Okay. Lila. I would like to speak with Lila. Right, she she sees you and she. You have a familiar face. Have I seen you before? Perhaps. Then you, go around. You seem like an elf, though strange as you are. Really? Yes. Uh, I would like one of you to speak to you. I think, think, and she kind of leans in and comes like near you. The orcs kind of hoot a bit. <laughs> But she continues on, even despite that, and she says, If you take a side here, they might... If you take our side here, they might back off. I say, I've never heard such poppycock in all my life. And I walk towards the or the orc leader, still playing the ukulele. Okay. Whilst, I, I whilst, about... whilst avoiding directly any elf that has a sharp pointy stick or a bow. <laughs> all the elves have a bow. Then I avoid as many of the elves as possible while walking towards so the orcs. So you work, you you walk towards the orcs or towards the elves because I walk the orc leader specifically the leader. Okay, they're in the middle, so they're speaking, and you kind of interrupt them. They both look at you, up and down, and the orc looks at you. And says, oh, you bring puny human. We crush you and puny human. What you want, puny human? I say to the orc that I apologize that I am not familiar with the orc tongue. However, it appears that we're having problems communicating with the elves, and I offer to uh, be a. Uh, what do you call it when someone's in between? I completely forgot the word I'm looking for. Intermediate? Yeah, something. Whatever, you know, I, 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 whatever the word for that is that I'm looking for. Uh, I offered to, to be the middleman between the conversations before people start beheading each other. The elf looks at you. What do you know of our situation here? You're I'm an outsider. Here. You know nothing. That's absolutely nothing, which I'm is why I'm the perfect middle, middleman. I would like to. Before we continue, I think yeah. Nick wants to say something. Oh, okay, go ahead. Yeah, I've been trying to like what I was gonna say well I, I guess I won't anymore like I was just kind of like sitting over there listening and whenever they say like the you know nothing of our situation I kind of look and I step out of the shadows and I say I know that you have their children uh you say that and it cannot be heard because you're 100 feet from them <laughs> I you didn't well like I well, as I said, you were okay. one at the entrance, and you said you didn't want to actually go in. You want to be how big here. is this room? He it's takes a very big step. Uh, gigantic. <laughs> it's like uh, one hundred feet, two hundred feet by two hundred. If I mean, if I would give it a square, but it's very big. Okay. All right, then. While they're all arguing, I'm kind of getting bored. I would guess, so I'm gonna kind of just stroll into the middle and see what's going on, since I haven't heard any of this. Yeah, say. I'm gonna finally make a move and join them in the middle. I'm gonna sit down and bored, eat some food. And nothing looks to be happening. They're just sitting over there arguing. He's trying to play his ukulele. It's not really doing anything. I'm not trying to play ukulele. Like... I am doing ukulele. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to attract attention with the ukulele. The ukulele. Uh, don't don't working. interrupt, Gary. Okay, so um, the elf looks at you and. Her sore face going to goes into a bit of a smile, and she says, "Well, now, okay. What do you think, orc, ogre, whatever you are?" She kind of looks him up and down again, and he says, "This man knows nothing of our situation. He would be able to be a fair judge, would you not think?" And the ogre kind of looks like, like Samar, and he's like, "Puny, puny human." Puny human cannot judge. You stole orc children. That is what happened. You guilty. You give back or we kill. We crush your heads and their heads. I walk in the middle, right between the two leaders, and just say, the first person to make a move here dies. 
Oh, okay, and if you will that do me a fucking chop your head off. Chucky, do me a favor. Yeah. Like, one we start second, people. What's, don't. Whenever please we don't. start hearing what's going on, just tell me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, anybody else wanna wanted to say something? Yes, I cast and throw. <laughs> it's gonna cast it on me, so I stopped. No, I cast on throw on everyone. <laughs> Okay. It's, it's, it's even AOE with an unlimited amount of people. All I need is your attention. So I start playing the ukulele in, with like rapid, you know, proper proper going for it and cast and throw. Through the fire. Okay, let's points. check. Uh, mm -hmm. Yep. I, b I believe that a creature has to have a wisdom score over 16 to resist it. And I don't think any orc is going to have a wisdom score of over 16. I'm afraid I'm not I don't know, that, that magi might, depending on it, if he's a wiz uh, wizard or a cleric. You see an old crippled orc walk out towards the fire. No. Not entranced by you at all. He has not. <laughs> Uh, um, yeah, yeah. The orc is is kind of entranced as you as you do that, but the 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 elf is just looking at you, like, and she looks at the orc and she kind of realizes what's what's happening. She, yeah, yeah, she she realizes what's happening and she winks at you to continue. Yeah, and, and my performance, I I step forward behind the orc to make sure. Do I do I have the attention of the army yet? Uh, yeah, they're all looking at you. Like if you start playing it frantically, the orc stops speaking. Nothing can be heard. Only the f fire yeah. cracking. So yeah, you, there you um, get the attention. Yeah, I, I think them a, a, a tale of a courageous bard and his group of friends, and describe us almost exactly. And um, while they are enthralled, I suggest that we, we we are capable of assisting both the orcs and the elves without bloodshed. And, Am I uh, currently under the effects of your spell? One second. You should be. Yes, you are. Okay. Okay. Are we? Uh. Anyone that's paying attention to me should be a part. Yes. Of well, I'm quite far away. I was. Well, I was yeah. Far no, away. James is not. Darius is not. Uh, Ajax is. Cadence is. Cadence and has a wisdom of seventeen. Oh yeah, she's not then. Yeah, you're right. And uh, Cyrus. You are in trouble as well. Oh, yeah. uh, I know. I'm standing with Nick. But but, yeah, but to save to save a long speech, it's just basically the overall point I'm trying to portray to the orcs is that we're here to help. Uh, we are very powerful and well known in the community and so on, and that we that we should be helping them. Okay. And uh, mm. it, it, that is my performance to them. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Like you you do all this, and after you, how much do you wanna? How much is the spell? How much does it? Uh, the effects last as long as you speak or sing to a maximum. Yeah, often. one hour rest. So how much do you want to do this for? Literally, it's like a five minute song. Okay, after you finish this, and the work is kind of... <sighs> okay. Human... Human sings good. He... Me like him. He can, uh... He can listen. He can, he can judge, but if we, if we not get children back, we kill. I would, would like to go up to Gary and whisper him something. Okay. Yeah. Is it a yeah, private like whisper? The second you, like, you go up, uh, Rira puts a hand on your shoulder and looks gravely into your eyes. And she says, you, what are you doing here? Hello. Lila, long time no see. Surprise! I ask again, what are you doing here? I'm traveling with my companions. We are on a, we are on a quest to liberate the surface and bring uh, about about the union of the of the races. She looks about. She the, the the look she's giving you is not a nice one. But she doesn't say anything. She goes back and says, Alright. Um And she doesn't say anything, like what, she does she doesn't continue. Yeah, I'm gonna can I talk to her? Before? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Am I there? So yet? what is the situation here, Lila? Why are you why are you here with uh, 
your with with, the, with your ki with our kin and uh, having a standoff with the orcs. When you say kin, she she like cringes a bit, and um, <laughs> after that uh, she kind of looks at someone and says, "They stole her. They stole." They stole our leader's daughter, and they they want, don't want to give her back. And they accuse us of stealing orc children. Why would elves uh, steal orc children? And the orc looks back and says, "You, you only one near. You only one with sneaky elves. You steal children. We know." Yeah, I kind of just like shimmy into the conversation kind of like it's a bit it's a bit of a mince really like like all D and things are about to kick off you know, the hands out to the side and everything like that and, and just said don't worry we're going to solve this peacefully i want to ask lila when when did this start when 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 did this happen people have been disappearing for some time but we thought that they were just wandering off trying to find a way out of the this whatever wherever we are whatever this is and that's what we said but she disappeared she wouldn't have gone off she wouldn't have gone off somebody somebody had a hand in this somebody fall yes. like those okay so she's saying the, the leader's daughter is that that yeah okay uh she do i know the leader do i know the daughter uh no you haven't actually like you've been um uh, avoiding them so you don't know who the leader in the sewer is in this this part of the sewers yes like this is the only el elves that survived the upside you know that you didn't actually have a former leader of the elves up it was just some congregations sometimes some meetings but they weren't uh, okay. de a designated elf leader do I know how many elves are, have a... There were a lot of elves in the city, up, but yeah. ma the majority was humans. You don't know how many made out. Like, was it a you... mixed a city with like orcs, humans and elves? Yeah, it was a mixed city, a, a lot of races that lived there. This was the biggest city in the whole land. So mm -hmm. most races were uh, meeting up in the city for trade, uh, political reasons and many other things. Racism was abolished a long time ago, sir. Who did me? I'm sorry. Racism was abolished a long time ago. Almost, uh, almost abolished. My uh, the orcs maybe don't think that, but never mind. Okay, so they're talking about children and the leader being kidnapped, and I kind of like look up and say, "You do realize there is a necromancer who is sending." hordes of zombies and other undead and other foul creatures into this area and that it may not have been the orcs it may not have and then i'd like turn over to the orc leader and say it may not have been the elves who have done this it's very possible that these undead have been growing more numerous we had to fight through dozens to get here and it's really seriously becoming an issue that we need to solve but we can't solve it while we're fighting amongst ourselves can't you see this is what they want? They look at each other and the um, they like the, the orc shrugs and uh, says we want we want them back we need them back the children and uh, he like doesn't know what to say more because Orcs do not really get reason, they respond to reason with violence, but he isn't raising any arms or against you. And the elf kind of nods, it may have been, may have been. But the orcs have shown violence towards us for a long time now. I like turn to the elf and say, one moment please, and I turn back to the orcs and kind of, not, not in a condescending way, but I just say, if you want your children back, you have to help. You can't just beat everyone. You can't just beat the elves and kill everyone in this room and expect that your children will come back. If you want them back, we have to work together. I like how this 16 year old is like lecturing them. <laughs> hey, 16 charisma. Wait, to be honest, he's not had an electric orc, is it? Yeah, he does have 16, <laughs> really, uh, 15 charisma. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Chucky, am I in the middle yet? Uh, yeah, you make it like. 
it, as I said, it's it's a kind of a walk, and they kind of the elves kind of stopped you, but they, they uh, you went on and you made it. Alright. Whenever I when get, we to get the fire, I just kind of sit down by the fire and like cross my legs and I just kind of watch, sit by it, kind of like rub my hands, get all toasty. Yeah, they kind of look at you, but like what's happening is more important, so they don't give you, give you a uh, attention. Alright, when yeah, we get to the middle, I, ju I just want to walk up and stand behind Ajax and pull my hood down. Okay. My hood is still up. The orc looks at you, Ajax, and he says, You smart reader, you need to speak all reader. You come, Orc City, when you want to hear the story and help us. And he kind of points at the at an out at the um, corridor going north from here, and the elf um, says the exact same thing. Says, "Yeah, you need to speak to our reader as well. Um, it's her daughter we're talking of. Just come to the elf outpost when you want." And well, the I, I, I walk up with the elf. They they start like they start weaving like they just share a violent glance before weaving, but they weave. And the elves go south. Just the orcs just go north. The elf leaves. Like just as the orcs sort of turn around, I look over at the elf when he says, "You need to come to us." And I kind of whisper out of the range of the um, elves and say, "I think we better deal with the orcs first because they'll probably be the more likely ones to resort to violence quicker." I say, "Just be safe. We'll come soon." I kind of chime in and I say we have two very influential party members although it may not be the best idea I think the orcs are the more unstable of the two groups and I would say that we send a convoy to each and try to resolve the problems and we meet back here in a week I, 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 I look at him never <laughs> you said I, I just look at him uh, Gary you go no, I was just going to say, not, 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 not to worry, um, if there's any problems with the orcs, uh, Bob will deal with them. And then Bob, Bob flourished his spear like Jack did before. <laughs> yeah, drops I, I like, I look one. at him with, I look <laughs> at him with admiration. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the goblin, the goblin flourishes his weapon, but nothing really happens. Like, oh, nobody yeah. is actually looking at him. Uh, I, I'm, I'm proud of him, that's all the matters. Okay. He is so, proud. As, as they're leaving, I kind of turn back to the party and I say, What should we do? I say, I'm going to go with I the, especially uh, look to towards... I especially look towards Cadence. I say, Well... There's... <clears throat> there's a big chance that if we all... If we all go up on a... On a Onto one side, the other one might take offense and might not want to speak with us. They might see me as an act of uh, taking sides. And, uh, so, as I said, maybe send someone to each. Yeah, I, I offer to go with the orcs. And then I just, you know, quietly whisper and just say, you know, I don't know if you know it, but they really like my music to the point where they can't hear them, by the way. Everyone I has message cast on them except um, can dance. So. As you all know, I don't want to. Um. So I. I know. I a second, we please. Don't speak at the same time. So when somebody starts, shut up. Wait for him to finish, and then you speak. So Ajax. Well, the. Okay. Nick, you can go first. Okay, I was just gonna say that like people tend to start at the same time, so I don't think it's intentional by any means. But um. I think someone should go with Samal if he goes. I don't think it's wise for him to go alone. I, I agree with that. Um, I think if anything, um, if we decide to split the party, which I kind of like shudder when I say it, and um, I say if, if that is the decision we make, I will go with um, Samal to the Orcs. I think the Orcs being a more warlike tribe will appreciate my particular talents more than the elves. I kind of scratch my chin and say, I don't know. I, I look at cannons and I say, 
what is your history with her? And I gesture towards like the elf army, but you know. Have have they have they are they still there, Chucky? No. Still up there? No, they're weaving. They left. They're weaving. Oh, like the last. Okay, the, yeah, the rest of the. Speaking, they're leaving to the respective camps. I mean, how how big is this place? Uh, as I said, 200 feet by 200, and in height, it's about 50 to 60 feet up. Like it's very big. And it's almost completely empty, but so for some pirons that are keeping the roof up. Perfect dragon lair. So <laughs> Ancient I, I the dragon. I, I, reveal, <laughs> I reveal my history with Lila, the party. Talking about being old friends. Is there anything you want to ask more, Nick? Um, do you... I don't know if you should be the person to... What's the word? Um, parlay with her? You two seem to have kind of this tension. Yeah. I, I no, think I mean, that... I, I don't... Crazy. You all have passed, but it seems tense at the moment. James, I, I... James, do not worry about me taking sides. I am missing partial as one can get. I I'm more worried about her. I look at Cadence oh. and say, Is your god commonly worshipped by the elves? <clears throat> okay, so. Luna! Luna! Uh -huh. Come on, Luna, guide me! <laughs> was it a Luna? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I uh, actually, uh, that was. Oh, I'm gonna say something here. That's actually a good point that he was talking about. Uh, I'm gonna say that uh, not uh, not every elf worship the worship Illuminara, uh, and I will also tell them that uh, while it's Illuminara for the elf, it's, it's the elven name. The, it's um, hum uh, the other races know her as, as Nyx or Luna, as I saw you said actually. Kind of cool. For Luna. For Luna. Hi. Yeah. So, so talking about so if I had my choice, I kind of look hesitantly and I say, I think that Samal, Ajax, and um, oh. or Jack and um, Darius should go to the orcs. Nope, 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 nope. I suggest I, split, I, split into two groups of three. Me, I, Charger, and Bob. Uh, well, Bob's there too, you're right. Yeah, that might Bob there. I want did, to... did you just call me Charger? Yeah. <laughs> Ajax, the you're Charger. Right there, man. So, I, I, I want to right. talk to them. Oh, sorry, you can go ahead first. I kind of just like um nod and say perhaps um me Samal Bob and perhaps actually maybe we should go us three and you Cadence James and Silas you should go to the others I think with um our we will be able to handle the orcs much easier than the elves I say you're forgetting someone, and I look at Darius. I'll sit there. I don't mind. Dar Darius is there. Well. You, go like you can see sits by the fire. Yeah, Darius can go to the fire. <laughs> Darius has exceptionally high charisma, so... I, I yeah, say to Darius, it's up to you. I don't want to it's be up to you where you go. If, da if Darius stands in the middle, we can use Whisper, whisper to, to, like, point <laughs> at him and talk to each other. You can be yeah, like the, the, the signal director. <laughs> it's, uh, the range isn't that long. <laughs> I think oh, it's only a the... joke. Okay, I said about it. What do you think the possibility are for the undead to have a hand in this? High. Very, very high. high. I cast I, detect I, undead. I, I nod. Uh, I agree with them. Detect undead, excellent. 
If there's... Oh, I'd, I'd probably just go... I'd do it. Yo. If there's a slight... Sh I... Shaggy? Sorry, what? Huh? I cast a ticket. Oh no, we put the DM to sleep. Jesus okay, Christ. you do the. Yeah, no. I was uh, waiting for uh, this to finish. <laughs> I'm just listening. Uh, yeah, you cast Detect Undead if you know one dead. No, not even how traces. Far, how, not how even traces. There is absolutely nothing that you feel. Oh, I feel nothing. And am I right that this room that we're in literally only has two outposts to it? It doesn't like, carry on. Uh, it does carry on, but there's like there's an there's an outpost, but it's it has gates, and there are two massive gates of iron with two holes in each of them. Okay. And we have no so, idea who's there. No, you yeah. don't know what's going like what's next uh, to yeah. the east. You know that to the north there's the orc outpost, and to the south there's the elf outpost. Okay. So I kind of gather all my stuff up and say, well, we should make the uh, decision now and like step and start walking very slowly towards the orc outpost, okay, before, like looking back to see who's coming. Before everyone's leaving, I want to, s I want to speak with them and say that if by any chance there are, we Say say that we find their clues, and maybe even someone can be behind all this. I could potentially make them speak only the truth. Yeah. If there's if there's someone that's behind this, and we find out, then I can uh, speak with my god, and. Uh, she can grant me the power to make them speak true. Mm. If by any chance they refuse to speak, then I guess they have something to hide, don't they? Um, can I... I want to gesture to James and start walking away while I talk to him. Yes, so, I, kind of, I kind of just skip off towards the org leader. I, okay, I, speci I specifically walk with the org leader as well. I try to create a little bit of chit chat between us. Uh, so you want to go with the org leader? He has yeah. left a long time ago. He was the first oh, one to go through the tunnel. I've been talking for like two minutes, man. I'll be able to catch him. Yeah, they've been going for like the f the org leader was the first one to go through. Right, I sprint, I sprint and then try and catch him. Okay, uh, we're gonna go to you later then. Good. Okay. So, I said um, to Darius, it, are you coming to the Orcs? Oh, Bob follows uh, me as well. Bob follows yep, me. Bob follows, I know. But I nearly left him behind there, Jesus Christ. No, you didn't. Oh, right, no, no. I don't really want to do much. I don't want to be a part of this. Why not? We need their help. This... I feel I'll make this into conflict. Uh, I say, can you turn up your mic a little bit? I feel this will end in conflict. We have to prevent the conflict. Didn't you see what just happened? They were about to fight. Yes, I understand. If we do nothing, conflict is for sure. Hmm. Choose I side. Elves or orcs. It matters not. I, I just want to stay here for now. Standing next to the huge fire. Until when? All alone. The fire, the fire is warm. Reminds me of home. At least, uh, just uh, at least go to the to the elves and stay there, even if you're not involved in the politics of it all. I don't want to leave you out here where you could potentially be hurt. There's nothing bad about this area. I've already checked. I should be safe here, and my hawk can guard guard me while I'm sleeping. Have a watchful eye. You're the person with the real hawk, aren't you? Yeah, Raven. Sorry. I point at Ajax in particular and I say, Are you sure you don't want someone else to come? I feel that the orcs are more likely to end in violence than the elves. I don't think they'll hurt us. 
I think we've got a good grip on the situation. You should go with the elves, they'll take more convincing to do. Well, the yes, came you like him to the I brandish my dagger and I say, I'm not much for talking. Hmm. If you want to come to the orcs, you can. But I, I think me and Samar will have it under control if he doesn't get butchered while he's trying to run after their army. What's the chance of that? Incredibly high. <laughs> so. I think, like, at this point, unless anyone else is going to be talking, we should kind of split off into the whole two group. Th well, first go to Samal talking to the orc, and then... No, the first, uh, let me get my things right here. So, the orcs okay. are... Ajax go is going to the orcs. Samal is already sprinting with, with Bob following Ajax because Samal is sprinting too fast for him. Uh, then we've got on the elves oh, side Cadence and Cyrus, and, and the one staying at the fire is Darius. And I'm going to the elves as well. And James okay. is going to the elves. James is going to the elves. Promptly after we're right. done talking, I leave towards the elves. I have nothing else to say. Okay. Uh, so yeah, Cadence, Cyrus, and James, you have the same face. Um. Darius, you just stay at this fire. Um, we're gonna go to you last. And Ajax and Samal, let's go to Samal. Samal, you sprint. And you notice that, like, this is a not ju that big of a corridor. So it's like free in a line. And there are orcs going in front of you. The green ones, not. The blue one is nowhere in sight. What, just like a, uh, like a line of orcs? No, they're just like they're walking inside. They're walking inside and going in front. But the the blue one, you don't see him. I like, just follow. I just follow them in. Then. Okay. Yeah, Ajax and Bob, you you catch them. You Wait. catch up to them. Um, Wait, well, if he was sprinting, he would be a little bit ahead of us. I'm kind of just. He like would, but then he starts walking normally, and because the orcs kind of stop at some point because they're big and the corridor, even if it fits three people. Sometimes the ogres get stuck because they're a lot bigger. <laughs> so, like, a as me and Bob are walking, I'm like showing him the correct weapon flourishes and how to make it prettier to correct his style. Okay, you're showing him how to use his uh, short spear basically. And as I'm speaking to him, I am speaking in goblin. You're which speaking is my in goblin language. Okay, he responds to you. Yes, yes. Thank you, master. Thank you. <laughs> you can't hear that. Okay, uh, yeah, let's go. You don't oh, you. the resistance, the, uh, the urge to meta game the shit out of this is high. <laughs> the, um, you the first you to get. You are walking. Whenever We're... the entire line stops, you hear a shout from the top of the line, scream, butter, butter, butter. The butter is passed towards the beginning of the line. You wait a little longer, and the orc ogre is finally unstuck, and you all continue. <laughs> Okay, the first one to get uh, to the outpost is Ajax, Somal, and Bob. You make it. There's a big churning noise can be heard as you advance in the corridor. Right from a hundred fires, you emanate the crater hole Reich that the orcs have made their home in. You are high above this encampment that looks more like a small city in size. Houses of stone and mud are in the first part of the city. Then there is another small hole with bright lights coming from inside. Behind that rise a dreadful black tower, looming over the city. The light coming from the fire is not even daring to touch the foul dark metal of this underground monolith. To your right there is a wide pathway that the orcs are taking to go down into their houses. Dalamar here? <laughs> who knows? Who knows? He was an orc. Who knows? Okay. I, I so. grab Bob instantly and say, Have you dared call anybody else master? <laughs> so, uh, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go, um, we're gonna go do the introduction to the elf city as well. And uh, then talk about Darius. And then we're gonna take our first hour break. Because it's already been an hour. 
Okay, wow. so um, let's go to the elves. You make it there a lot faster than they do because orcs, elves are not that big and they move a lot swifter. But you don't know that. So um, let's go to elf city description. Trees. Green vine growing on the ground. Beautifully shaped uh, mud huts and stone towers. The elf outpost looks amazing. Surely the nicest view in this foul sewer or dungeon, whatever this is you have been traveling in. Right, is making it seem like it is day inside, this underground construction. The first part of the city is all huts and little houses decorated in a thousand colored flowers. After that there stands the stone towers and a city square, where a fountain gushes water from the nipples of a stone carved ready, with a robe, a sword, and a set of scales in hand. Behind that, covered in rush vegetation and made from white stone marble, stands a masterfully carved pavilion. This is the home of elves. Okay, this is what you guys see. And we go a bit to Darius. Darius, you spend about 10 minutes here. Um, what are you doing exactly? Just amusing myself, I suppose. Nothing in particular. Just waiting. Okay. You're just waiting. Lots of waiting. You notice that the fire does not dwindle. The fire is burning at the same. Um, it's burning. Detect magic. At the same power at. Yeah, detect, detect magic. magic. You notice a faint glimmer on the fire. Like, the fire is already gleaming very brightly, and but you notice that your magic is working. And uh, the uh, iron doors to the east gleam very powerfully, almost as bright as the light of the fire. Wow. Can I go over and investigate those doors? I'm sorry, what are you saying? Can I go over and investigate? Okay. You go and uh, investigate those. You see that they're uh, carved. Uh, it's br a black kind of metal. You don't really recognize uh, what it is. And there are two um, extremely, like, perfectly round holes where keyholes would be. Can I detect. Um, can I listen? Do a listen check? Yes, you can. And it's at plus three because. Uh, no, my, fami my family is not a step, so what would it be? So it's your wisdom plus your wisdom score and your familiar bonus. Uh, my family, family is a step. Yeah, no, familiar is, is a praise, don't listen. That's a raven. So you're no, familiar. Usually when it's like next to you, you get a bonus to listen, but it's asleep right now. No, you're he's familiar. He's sleep, he put it in. He put it in chat that he's bird sleeping. Uh, I know, I but his matters. familiar does not give a bonus to to listen. It gives a bonus to a praise. Isn't it a listen in a spot when it's within like three feet of you? No, it's, it's Raven. It's n all of them ha have different uh, abilities. The Raven gives you seven uh, free to a praise. There's no, isn't it the alertness feet? Mm, it doesn't all work of them like have that. Alertness feet and which is doesn't more give it to you. Doesn't give it to you. Within arm's reach, the master gains alertness feet. I think that's right. He gets uh, the raven gets alertness feet, but I don't think it shares with you. No, uh, the benefit of it is you get a plus two to all. Oh, it's plus two. Right. To all the spot. Let me check. But it doesn't matter because it's asleep right now, and I rolled a seven, so. Yeah, it's asleep. Yeah, I just you wouldn't, you wouldn't hear anything anyway. Anyway, yeah, you yeah. don't hear anything yeah. through it. Okay. Yeah, you are right. You are right. Push it or pull it open. Uh, you, you, where do you pull it open from? Is there, I mean, is there like any handle or anything? No. Can I try and push it then? You can try. <laughs> okay. I I try and push it. Give me a strength check. What is it? D20 plus... Is it minus? D20 minus 1 for you. Yeah, you, you nope. push it... Uh, 
nothing happens. Absolutely nothing happens. You feel like an ant pushing a g giant, <laughs> a giant gate. Okay, I go over to the fire and I cast um, Ray of Frost on it. Okay. Can I just automatically hit it? You cast no, it it's an auto make on hit. Uh, just roll the damage. Die, fire, die. There is, I'd like to be. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, you cast Rail Frost on it, nothing happens. The party just looks back and sees that our wizard has officially gone insane in the middle of the room. Nothing happens, um. and um, you notice that on the other side of the fire, there's a little bit of uh, ice on the ground. There he is, there he is. You, you should have known for playing a lot of Pokemon, ice is not effective against fire. <laughs> Cool you, need, you need to find a dragon that is super effective. Shh, you're not here, guys. Shh. <laughs> yeah, you see there's ice on the other side. The ice, um, the fire melts the ice, turns into water, and extinguishes the fire. It's like a blank. Again, nothing happens to the fire, but there's ice on the other side of the fire from where you casted it. Also, it's magic, so I don't. I, I guess I'd have to dispel magic if I wanted to get rid of it. Okay. Oh, wait, I, 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 is there like any water in the area? No. There's like the empty giant room with a couple of pyrons, this fire, and the giant I dark iron uh, or whatever. Would I, would I carry a bit of water with me? Like just a tiny bit? Yeah, you have a water skin. Yeah, I just want to like splash a bit of water on it and see what happens. You hear splashes as if the splashes went on the ground. Like, is it as a sizzle? No, no sizzle. It, it's okay, like can I, I you just, can I try and I want to try and touch the fire. Okay, your hand goes through it. Can I walk into the center of it? Okay, you walk into the center of the fire, and you see absolutely nothing but fire. You feel something can I, like, tingling. The ground, see what I feel? You feel like you feel the ground. It's uh, stone cold. Steve Austin. Can I like knock and like see if I hear like a hollow sound? Uh yeah. We do me a no do, do me a listen check. You can knock. I said. Uh. Whenever I was sitting by this fire, like rubbing my hands against it, was I feeling any warmth? Yes. It's I get warm. a seventeen plus something. You find the magic. Yes, blue. you you hear hollow on the other side. Like you hear okay. it, the hollow sound. And I can't see anything or like no. try and open. You anything. barely hear it because the the fi the sound of fire crackling is still there. Like the sound is still there and the warmth from the other side is still there. I'm I'm trying to like feel around and see if I can like feel anything on the bottom of the fire. Okay, do me a dexterity check. Oh what? Oh no. Minus <laughs> minus two. <laughs> I'm like minus one. <laughs> Actually, no. How much do you spend doing this? A long time uh, until I find something because I know something's there. Okay, then we we stop here because that's basically taking a twenty on it, which I don't allow in many cases. But this is one case is that one case that would seem uh, logical. So yeah, you do that, and we're gonna go into our first break. So okay. everybody, do not go anywhere. We're gonna come right back up. See you in two minutes. <laughs>